competition in Aylesbury has proved that households can save money by becoming greener. You may remember a few weeks ago we reported on the contest to encourage people to cut their carbon emissions and energy costs. Now the project has finished and it's being held a success. It's hoped it can be rolled out across Buckinghamshire as Brennan Nichols has been back to meet some of the winners. The perfect way to celebrate success. Jo Spigman from Beg Grove led her team to victory in a carbon cutting competition. By making simple changes around the house and then keeping track of her meter readings, she noticed a big drop in her energy consumption. The green line, it shows you where we started. The blue line shows our savings made, so it shows you redu that we made quite a big reduction. It's been good fun because it's been really competitive and I've, we've made a big difference. You know, our bills from our, our gas provider have shown we've made quite a dramatic difference this year compared to last year. And she's not alone. Just around the corner, good friend Sarah was convinced to join Joe's team. She too is a winner. You could actually see how much electricity you were using and obviously there were certain day, times of the day where you were using more um, so you could try and cut back and I was trying to encourage the children to turn lights off and turn the television off when they weren't watching it um, and my husband as well because he loves leaving lights on. After the success of the pilot project, Bucks County Council is promising to roll out the scheme which is run by a local company. We're targeting people not who are already green, but people who have yet, have yet to take any energy saving steps. Uh, and what we do find is that uh, people still keep using the system and keep those habits that they've developed over six weeks um, forever. I mean, why wouldn't you? And while Joe and Sarah are off to receive their prizes this evening, here's a contest where the biggest losers are the real winners. Brandon Nichols, BBC Oxford News.